Hi YouTube, this is Patrick, and this is my extremely goddamn late review of The Walking Dead Season 3, Episode 7. I just finished watching it, because um, I missed it Sunday night, and then between work and my on-demand not working, and more work, and what have you, um, I missed it, so I'm sorry this is so late, uh, it won't happen again. And uh, anyway, this was, uh, I thought this was the best one so far this season. Definitely the best one so far this season. In fact, it was just better directed visually. It was just, you know, uh, more well done. It was lit better. Like, all the technical stuff behind it. Um, the zombie attack was pretty visceral and just... Yeah, so all that stuff was top-notch. The moments in the prison... Um... After Michonne, who finally gets something to say, thankfully, and still hasn't, still doesn't really have much more of a of a character than the the angry angry black chick right now. But um, at least she had dialogue, so that was a plus. And uh, the moment where Carol was back alive was handled actually much better than you know I thought. I was like, yeah, right, Carol's back, but the way they handled it and um, the reaction to Lori being dead and how that's not gonna completely go away uh it was just well done it was you know emotionally well done and then as was uh, carl's talk with rick about naming the, the baby and everything like that so you know and it pretty much i guess sets up whatever for the mid-season finale next week i guess something's gonna go wrong in the prison so we're gonna have that to be like the b storyline where the a storyline would be uh, everything in woodbury with um rick and crew showing up so yeah the stuff in the prison that's you know emotionally well done and they got to move on quickly michonne didn't you know showed up in the prison at the beginning of the episode and they were back at the at woodbury by the end so you know didn't get dragged out very good very very good the best stuff in this episode for a change was in woodbury and maybe well it was better because of glenn and maggie maybe more than anything else but the um first of all the whole interrogation with glenn and merle is well done they're setting up Merle and Daryl, you know, meeting again pretty well. Um, yeah, uh, like all that stuff. The the fight scene where they let the, the zombie loose was just extremely, extremely intense. It's just really well done. And uh, good work by the actor who plays uh, Glenn. Just, just top-notch stuff. Like really, really, really well done stuff. Where I'm watching the show, I kind of went, wow, that was a great scene. Um, they haven't really done that a lot where I'm sitting there going like, wow, that was amazing. Or wow, that was, you know, um, the show for me has been consistently, you know, entertaining. Just not, like I've said, it hasn't really reached that, that, um, wow factor. But this episode had, you know, plenty of really strong moments like it. So, uh, so I liked it very much with that. Um, as far as the governor goes, before I get to the stuff with Maggie, the stuff with Andrea was at least a little more interesting this week with the, um, the lab assistant trying to regain, trying to see if the, uh, the subconscious is still in there after they're dead. Kind of knew that was going to be a, no pun intended, dead end, and it was. All right, so we sort of got an answer on what he's doing, but eh, I don't know, it was whatever. Um, it was more, it seemed like more of a reason just to get Andrea out of the way while the governor could pretend to rape Maggie. So, yeah. Um... So, yeah, it's after that. As far as the governor goes, I thought the actor that's played him for the season so far, you know, he's been fine, but they, again, they haven't given him, I think, really enough to do to really, like, you know, really put a stamp on the character. But this episode, he went into, like, full-on evil mode with the, the scene with Maggie, and that that was just pretty intense, pretty messed up. And uh, I, I, I thought he was going to you know, raper, and that's pretty, you know, it's pretty ice cold. I really thought he was actually going to go through with it. So, um, so credit there for that, for making me actually think he was going to do that. And, uh, yeah, just a real, like, I, I want, now I want this guy, I want this guy to get, to get his now. I haven't really thought about it this season, but now I want this guy to get, to get hurt badly. And I want Rick and, and the rest to, to definitely make it there. Rick, Daryl, uh, Michonne, and I forget the new... Or the, the inmate, the black guy. Um, have a nice little showdown. 
next week. Should be pretty intense. It's a mid-season finale, so I'm expecting a strong, fast-paced episode. I'm sure it's exactly what we're going we're gonna to get, and we'll get a pretty, uh, pretty crazy cliffhanger. Um, might lose somebody. Um, who knows? Who knows? But, uh, but yeah, very, uh, very good episode this week. I'm so sorry it was late. I will remedy that from now on, and I will talk to you guys next week. Later.